Hello and welcome to Garden Electronics channel. On this episode we will be reviewing a Sony VAIO handheld device. Please stay tuned. This is the first part uh, where I will be reviewing and restoring uh, a Sony VAIO. As you can see this guy, I found this in the, in the basement. It was sitting there for uh, more than 10 years. This, uh, this is some kind of a handheld device. It's called Sony VAIO PCG1J1L. It's from 2006, I think. So at this first part, I will be uh, cleaning this device. Uh, I will show you uh, uh, around a little bit how it looks like, what uh, uh, add-ons it has, and um, we will try to start to boot it up. So welcome and let's begin. I have a few wipes, clean wipes, to make this uh, guy clean. Guy. Yeah, it was. It's a little bit of a dusty, and uh, but it's uh, but it's fine. It looks nice. It has a few major scratches like uh, there, and um, it looks like abandoned a little bit. Yeah, but I like uh, to keep my devices, especially these old devices, clean. So if you can see, it has a memory stick uh, uh, slot, like it was uh, popular in those days. I don't know what kind of this this is. Like it's not moving part. So at this um, at the back side, there is a, I think a GPS antenna or wireless. Uh, I don't know. We'll find it out. So make this clean too. Uh, it has, a, of course, it has a battery. It can run on his own, its own. It's um, seven point seven point four volts and uh, two thousand six hundred mh. Okay, that's that's not enough, <laughs> especially if it has a hard drive, as I think. It has. Yeah, the back is looks like the back looks like clean. So let it dry. So what he we have here? We have a headphone jack, microphone, a docking station connector. It has a DC in. Uh, it has a one USB It has a wireless button on and off Oops camera uh, It has um, I don't know what this button is Yet I don't know yet. This is um, mouse buttons like emulating uh, we'll click it's clickable this is the mouse joypad or I don't know how it's called magnification like I don't know what it is for power on and power off and it has a Windows XP in it as you can see <laughs> it's great also it has a fingerprint scanner as you can see uh camera <laughs> i don't know what is this for at those times when it was released it was like very very interesting thing like to have a selfie or or what but i think it was not very popular at that time and uh, we have um voila <laughs> a keyboard Yeah, it looks like 
soft and very well made. It's like um, clickable. Yeah, it's it's very 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 er ergonomic. So I will uh, clean the screen and uh, we will have a short look around. It's like uh, it's not very heavy. But uh, oh, we have a speaker, we have a camera also here. All right. And of course, we have a capture <laughs> capture button. Great. I, I I'd like to test it out. Uh, there is nothing more here. Of course, I I'm short of a uh, stick. And that means la, that uh, this screen is uh, touchable. Yep. Yes, it is clean now. Or clean as I think. So we are ready to start this guy on. Yep, USB, this one, <laughs> antenna, battery storage, oh, a macro, macro button, <laughs> great, we'll test it out guys, so, And of course, it has a belt. Mm -hmm. Looks quite nice. I don't know. <laughs> we'll. I'll start it um, after long, long, long years. I've, I've charged a little bit. Yeah, but that's not enough. So wait a second. This charger. And voila. Hey, it has a nice glowing charger, head of a charger, put it on and start. Yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Starting up Windows. Windows XP. Looks quite uh, quite good. Oh, <laughs> my Windows is like had some difficulties. Okay. Or resolve later. Genuine problems. Uh, of course, I knew that uh, that uh, trackpad, or, or I don't know how to say, is quite uh, tricky to use. So I have um, a mouse, a wireless mouse, and the, uh, <laughs> there is an USB. So I will connect them, and we'll see if it's work if it works. I don't know. Not yet. Nope, it's not working. So we'll try with the trackpad. Resolve later. Okay, welcome. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Great. So it boots up. Yeah. So thanks uh, for watching. This is like a first mini part. Uh, and after the few seconds, I will continue to the next part. So see you soon. A few add-ons. Uh, this like um, it has a add-on like uh, docking station, as I as I can see. It has extended to one, two, three more uh, USBs, uh, AV out, fire wire. I think it's like this is mini. I don't know. Uh, uh, VGA connected to a monitor, LAN cable, and uh, DC in. So let's make uh, a connection between those two and see how it goes okay so and um, i've made a, a usb hub connect connection to connect my mouse and now it's working fine so let's uh, start i'll take this out the whole battery will dies take this in back and All right, <laughs> it has, I don't know, kind of strange sound. Maybe it has a cooler or something, but it looks even more better. <laughs> so just uh, zoom a little bit. Oh. Now you can see almost clear. So let's have a quick look um, to our computer specifications through device manager. Uh, I don't know how to make this more. Okay. As you can hear, or I don't know, you can't hear. Mm -hmm added this docking station added a, a buzzing sound maybe it has a, a cooler inside cooler I don't know so okay let's start so I'm going to go to control panel. Yep. Ooh, it boots. It works. <laughs> I've connected to my local wireless. So right now we're going to system and um, well. It's like good specifications. Uh, Windows XP professional version 2002. Uh, it has a Intel CPU U1400. Works at uh, 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, 500 megs of RAM. That's quite nice. <laughs> at this kind of um, small device, it's good. So let's go to the um, uh, device manager and have a look. Oh, it has uh, problems with the drivers, conflicts. At uh, this point, we won't install uh, the existing drivers to, to, to this kind of Windows version because uh, later I will try to tear it apart and uh, figure out what kind of hard drive it has. And if it has a, SS, 
uh, 2.5 inches inch hard so I will um, put this hard uh, SSD hard in, inside and try to install a Windows 10 version and then we will try to install uh, install all the all the required drivers and see how it goes then so at this time we can uh, take a quick review about um, specifications of uh, computers so battery okay nothing yes hard drive yeah it works like a little hard so it has a Toshiba hard drive it's about it's uh, 25 gigs uh, it has oh it has an Intel integrated nine nine hundred forty five GM Express graphics cards mouse keyboard okay network yes of course it has network connections like LAN and Wi-Fi uh, at this time there are no drivers for um, fingerprint scanner and like few USB devices, uh, cameras, and so on. But um, of course, it, it has no drivers, so it's a bit laggy. But it works. It works like it has sounds. Yes, of course, it has because you heard the sound. Oh, ah. we have a. Um, uh, it's uh, it's uh, already installed. Uh, VLC Mega Player. So let's take a quick look on that uh, look, uh, at your hard drive. I'm sorry, it has uh, 30 gigs. It's like almost full. <laughs> I don't know what kind of information is that. But I think it's a photos. Everything works fine. So let's make a extend. Let's let, let's extend and focus a little bit. That is it. Yeah, it looks good. Works fine, I think. Ducks mm. duck and. Uh, yeah, it's good. Feels good. Great. Thanks, and uh, that's the um, second part of uh, mini series of our mini series is is over, and we will see you uh, soon.